to the 64th. Yeah, 64 so had to change the last letters. 64th <laughs> weekly live stream. It's not like anyone even reads those titles anyway. What are we going to do when we reach 100? Like, we got to start thinking about this. Mm, good question. Good question. Well, today, what we think about this, <laughs> we have Ali Claw. Hi, how's it going? Uh, who else do we actually have here? Wait, wait, Vital Mender? <laughs> wait, there we go, there we go. I, I see an undead rad there, but I'm not sure if he's joining us. I mean, I can for a little while. I don't know if or when I'll get pulled away, but I would love to be in here. Are you working right now? Are you at work? I am not. I'm at home for once. I normally have a computer club I run on Tuesdays, but today is spring break. So, I'm home. Huzzah! Alright, we have, we have an undead snake. So if there's a snake in your boot, just don't stomp too hard. <laughs> and we have we we have a zombie. Zom. Ooh. Zom. All right. You. It's me. Today's theme, as you can hopefully read, despite the fact that I have it just mildly cropped off on this top, is a uh, winter wrap up. Despite the fact that spring is already here, we don't believe in your normal time. <laughs> <laughs> Ponies are slow this year. Um, they just little, you know. They've been filming a movie. I don't know if you heard. Yeah. So and wrap still, up's been. Well, four movies if you count the horse girls. That's fair. That's fair. Wait, are they making four movies for the horse girls, or was it three for this year? And not really movies, like hour-long things. Minnesota things yeah. of. I don't know. Someone's gonna. We'll see. <laughs> we'll get corrected eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out for you, Allie, though, we have more people in our live stream voice chat here than actually watching the stream. Oh my god, what a phenomenon. It's it's incredible. <laughs> they they just they just want us. We're famous now, didn't you know? They just like Horse fame is a powerful thing. <laughs> Does it mainly get invited to BronyCon? I we we have to make a really really good argument. All all of our fame fans. That uh, that horse. What's what's a what's a good argument? It, it wouldn't be the same without us. I, there there can, we go. Can, can we just like send them the horse fame song, and they'll just accept us? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> M music solves everything, really. Yeah. Well, it, it worked for our last stream anyway. <laughs> so let's so. Let, let's do the art instead of musicals. Artsicles. Art artsicles. That sounds like a, a popsicle that gives you art skills. Is that a thing? I would like twelve of those, please. You can't be greedy. <laughs> no, no, that's Share. just to put me at your guys's level. Oh, snapple. Sharing is caring. All right, so yeah, we we got we got art here. Let's let's go over this. So the first one is by Lucid After Dark, and it's a gift I drew for another artist. Any critique? This is their first stop by MLPDS, if my thing is correct. In fact, they don't really post anywhere. They're if I recall, they're also in our Discord. Wait, are they really? I believe I've seen this picture before. Ooh. Yeah, I remember seeing it. It's just not enough time to stare at the Discord all day long. But we need Google Glasses. That's the answer here. Always streaming <laughs> Discord. Yep, yep. Undead rather oh, get on this. You're a technical department. I stare at so Discord all day. You stare at a different Discord all day. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone onto the, uh, the, the 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 draw pile and let's go over this. Yeah, I'm ready to go. It's, it's, so it's uh, decidedly anthro unless if ponies have grown hands. Oh, it's definitely anthro. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? Do we need to go to the anthro no chart? <laughs> the anthro chart. Oh God, it's a pretty great chart though. Makes me laugh. Mm hmm. Oh, so they there is a comment on here. 
and it says mostly two things. I think the hand and arm on the right side should be visible. Just there is a little hair, just where the hair begins. And I feel the nose slash muzzle looks a little flat on the face, mostly because it's missing shading. Other than that, I quite like it. I have to agree. Let's bring that arm. What if, what if the hand's on the shoulder? No, that's just not comfortable. I just tried to yeah. stick, yeah. No, I, I just can't do it. Unless if I'm doing I mean, like a you... sorority girl flick on my wrist. Yeah, I was about to say, you could have it, but you'd still see the hand, like, coming out here and then going down, like, la-di-da. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, like, get some cheek interaction going down. Probably add one of these into there while you have it. Always gotta add the tablet pens. You see the tablet? Got to add the pen. Totally. Um, the ear. I, I always seem to come back to ears, but ears are a major thing on these on ponies' heads. They like these big radars sticking out the head. We have no inside of this ear. It's kind of like a croissant rolled up on the side of the head. Let's even even just the littlest butt creak over here. Make it into just... a butt ear. And then some shading on both bit. sides of it. So you can roll it around. You know? You can even do things like adding a curve. So like say the ear's opening there and you can even do something like that to show depth without shading. Even still you could have some depth. Mm -hmm. There's a few ways to go about it. You can play around, see what you like. Just completely having it closed off feels very counterintuitive to having an ear. Mm-hmm, I agree. Um, something more coloring-wise, um, I believe, like, in my opinion, um, you have you have the lines colored over here. Oh, it's not that tablet. You have the lines colored, you know, up here, over here, and I get that's it's awesome. You have it, like, being a source of light. But don't stop there. Do all of your lines, because it just feels weird that it goes from color to blackness. If anything, it would go color to color. So I would think about maybe pulling in different colors like blues and darker browns and it'll really help just have a better feel because it kind of makes your image look flat when you have that, when you have the colors poking out top, giving a nice like highlight, but then it goes to black and it starts to feel flat again. So I would play with that too. Have, have some more color going on around there. Also, I would be careful with your transparency because I think this guy is a little bit transparent. I'm seeing like a stroke from the desk in there. So just give your, your shirt or whatever a nice solid base so it doesn't show through the other side. Unless it is something see-through, but I'm pretty sure this shirt isn't quite a see-through material. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now that I see that, I can't unsee it. Mm -hmm. Although it could be just really thin. I don't know I if mean, that was meant to be transparent or if it was just meant to be like a highlight that didn't work out like it was supposed to, like reflection of the desk. Even still, your arm would be here, so... I, unless this is silk, and I believe it's not, this seems very sweatery, especially with the collar. So I would I would do a material study, really look at the different types of materials and how they reflect, because you'll find that shirts, while do have some light balance, aren't shiny. And I'd be careful with the folds here. They're kind of, they feel more like a wrinkly balloon than like a, a folded fabric, because you still gotta keep in mind the arm, you know? Think of like where it'll curve and you can even think of sharp curves, like something that bunches over here and then folds down, and maybe down here it'll have a bunch of curves because you know it's it's twisting. Maybe have some interaction here to help out. Man, I wish I had like an actual art program. It's so much easier to do it in those. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. 
one day we'll find a better software. And someone will be like, how come you guys haven't been using this for the last six years? It's so much better. <laughs> well, didn't there used to be an attempt to make like a SAI bridge? Yeah, it never worked. But yeah, I'd have it bag out a little more flat, you know, get the wrinkles in. Look at look at how some clothing folds. Have a, have a look. Look, see. Um, I think those are wings behind the pony. Yeah? I believe so, yes. Okay. Then they look fine. It, they just really don't have a top definition. I, I would consider adding the little fluffy bits of the top of a wing. What are, what are those just called, Vital? You're a bird expert. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, but it's it starts with an A and has like a V and an L in it, but I can't pronounce those fancy words. I don't speak fancy. There you go. Allie just did it. Just a little more, just a minor amount of detail to there, just to sort of give it some texture and depth. Really Especially since that. you already have, like you have such, you have texture and depth on the sweater and the hair and the wings could use a lot of love. Little love. And again, just think of folds in the sweater. Um, you know, like maybe the side doesn't sit extremely straight and there's like a little fold in there and, you know, you got creases from that fold in going down and, you know, just play around with it. Feel it out. But that's, that's really all I got to say, unless someone else has something. No, that's, um, I did do a little modification to the mouth. And just as the other person said, it comes off a little flat. So if we add the area that's sticking over the side of the face, like over, over the eyeball just a bit, because we have a slightly turned head and muzzles are not very flat, if we just give it that little overlapping, it's going to really improve that mouth. And you can take it all the way and do the full muzzle, the full square box muzzle as we show. Or you can try and keep it very simplistic at a few lines. But I think the overlap's going to be important. Okay, so I have a stupid question real fast before we move on. Is that a pillow off to the right side, or what is that in the background? That's a bed. I yep, assume. bed with a pillow. Hmm, that defining line for the edge of the bed is not easy to see. So it just kind of looks like just a random little white fluffy thing in the background. And I think definitely having texture on the bed will help with that. You know, get the blankets a little rustled up. Having a little, maybe bring up the bed where the line is because it kind of blends with the, uh... you know, that's another thing. Maybe change the color of the blood bed because it blends in with the sweater, the blue on blue on blue. Having it pop more, it'll definitely age you if you pick a different color than just going further back to blue. Because we have the blue sweater, the blue bed, and then the blue background, which is like a blue-gray. But it's, to me, it has hints of blue to it. So pick pick some other colors to help it pop. You know, use your color wheel. Look up some color theory and get an idea for your triads and complementaries and all that. There's some great resources online. Uh, let me see if I can bring up my favorite one real quick. Color designer. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Color scheme designer dot com. Oh man. Oh man. Look at this thing. Oh uh, yeah. It's got like single. Then it lets you choose like adjacent and triad, and it even lets you expand the distance. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it just looks. It just works so well. It gives you a good color palette, and then it gives you ranges and the hues of the or sorry saturation of the color palettes so good you can change the base color if you want just go like so good give it a go that is apparently peloton but you can also go color scheme designer you know come on mm -hmm. it's a great website to play around but also i do heavily recommend looking up color theory because like it explains why these colors go well with each other. Yeah. 
All right, we're going to move on to the next picture. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Scroll, scroll. Oh, Undead Rattler got in. I was going to toss some yeah. details. But he beat me. I beat you. Dun, dun, dun. You guys oh. shouldn't beat each other. It's not nice. Uh, it's what friends do. It's a healthy relationship. <laughs> <laughs> the stream does not condone abuse of any sort. <laughs> <laughs> Blink twice yeah. if we need to, you know, <laughs> ride to your house. <laughs> it's love. It's all love. That's, that's not love, Ali. <laughs> what was it you told me about earlier about Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Before this conversation gets dark. Beauty and the Beast was one of my favorite movies. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that laughter, yes. That is the strained laughter of a mad woman. <laughs> <laughs> Ponies. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Stannis. So... This is Stannis's art. Now, as some of you might recall, last time we are like, Hey, buddy, you should do thumbnails. And you know what they did? They did <gasps> thumbnails! Ooh, I'm clapping. I'm clapping. I love when people listen to us. It's like one of my three favorite things. <laughs> It's it's so helpful to the process. <laughs> all right, so let's all unmute and clap for them. I agree. I want you to all unmute and clap. For them. <laughs> One person did it. Two, three. I'm so proud. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Mics weren't plugged in. <laughs> We're still proud of you if you're listening. It, thumbnails are amazing, and we're glad you did them. So, you know, kudos to you. You you won. That is your victory. Now keep them up. <laughs> keep yeah, doing them. Yeah, keep it up. They're did great. It... They're a really great exercise. Did it help? Yeah. I'd be curious to know. I really want an answer to this. So. But they're not here. I know. It's, it's a problem with time zones and just not being able to teleport people into my house. The FCC wasn't too happy with that. I'm sure, I'm sure. Blame <laughs> it on the FCC. I gotta blame someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let, let us crit this picture we have in front of us, in their honor. In their honor. What, uh, so did they have any comments about it? No, they didn't. Oh, wait, okay. yes, they told us that they submitted thumbnails. That was their comment about it. But they can't wrap their head around positions and angles. So let's talk about perspective then. I guess. <gasps> Perspective's a fun time. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, perspective can be awesomely easy if you use digital because there's tools for it. If you don't use digital, it can still be easy because all you gotta get do is draw a point on it and you drive everything off at of that point. And that's rulers. Yeah, rulers. Rulers are your use champion. Your rulers. And soft pencils. Soft pencils are really gonna help you on this one. Oh, completely. So, Soft pencils and a light, light strokes. Grab a point. We're going to call this your point. This probably isn't your point on this picture. Actually, let's find your point. They don't have one that's on the screen. It's definitely going to be way off the screen, definitely. Yeah. So, starting, I suggest choosing one that's on your paper somewhere. Makes it easier to have it directly in front of you, staring at you. Mm -hmm. you Especially when you're on. first learning. Like, we'll just... We'll make it up here. The perspective will be up here. Sure. There's our horizontal line. Always good to start with a horizon line. So then we're going to say your perspective point is somewhere off right over here then. Everything else is going to be based off of that point. So every line we draw will go out from there. What a, what a, what a, what a... Look at this. Now... If we wanted to draw a wall on this awesomeness, it'd be like, well, we can follow this line down, and then if I wanted to draw the floor coming out on this same perspective. Could... Actually, I'm going to make a step back. The oh. dot should be on the line. On the horizon? You want it on the horizon? 
that's where it usually should be on it should be attached to the line in some way shape or form like if we're doing one point perspective where this is our one point then it should be coming off the line or if we're doing two point like you know we'll have our two dots colliding with each other Fair to enough. make our perspective i often break because i'm a horrible person I like to break <laughs> things. We'll, we'll, we'll work off sanity then Draw as many construction lines as you need. Why? Because you can mm -hmm. always relate or erase, not relate. You shouldn't be relating to a line. I, I mean, if you really want. So using this, it's wonderful because we can already see our horizon follows here. Whatever. That one works fine for us, and so does this line because we made that our perspective. Now, it's if we true. wanted to do the roof, though, we can continue this. So this would be the ceiling. That could be the ceiling line. It just disappears. <gasps> now, in reality, I think a hallway would be shorter for ponies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Here we go. We're going to call that the hallway height. Everything else is roof. Now, somewhere within this hallway, we get to place the ponies. We still get to use these wonderful construction lines we've laid out. So we go like a pony one here, pony two here. We can use these construction lines to draw down a few more to figure out where their feet or who these would sit and on what perspective they get to be relative to them. Thank you for laying down some blue. All this red on red is probably bad for people to figure out. We, we can give boxes. Boxes are good for perspective. I like boxes. They teach you things. So, I'm just gonna draw out our ponies and boxes and going off the line. You know, like, okay, so that box go there. Okay, that box like that. And I'll cap off the box. Oh, look, we got ourselves a nice little, like, box going down. It's a little box. box. Look at that. Little box. So, pony one will be there, and Scoots is kind of like, or Button Mash is kind of like, looks. Tilted box are extra challenge. They're Still fun. Very easy to do under this. You Absolutely. Have the angles it should be sitting on. Mm, box. Mm, box. Gotta bring it up. So. Boop. Deep. Doesn't draw box go over this? Drawbox does. It's a great website to use. You I should start doing things. that. Yeah, yeah, you should. Do it. Do it now. I made that box too big. See? See? We can just like, oh, hey, that feels too big and different. But the idea here is to just kind of like utilize simple shapes in perspective because it's easier to find a simple shape in perspective than it is to figure out an entire complex 3d pony in perspective oh is it ever don't expect it to be perfect the first time or the 50th time but it's gonna get easier every time you do it mm -hmm. like yeah. i am super rusty right now but you know what that's okay yeah, I, think I mean this is literally just... my first time drawing a box like this so you know i think your back corner is just too far down yeah thanks for catching that see see look like i said i'm super rusty and it's good to have other people's eyes looking at your work like you're doing now for critique teamwork <laughs> <laughs> all right so there's your boxes these boxes get converted into ponies just by drawing a pony inside said box problem solved there's your two ponies interacting now does this help this immediate picture no but it's going to help your next one Mm-hmm. So we're gonna and... go. Oh, go ahead. We're when after Ellie's done her little thing, we're gonna take off all these lines and we're gonna go over your ponies on this one. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like what I was gonna seg segue into myself and don't don't worry about um like even if you just want to practice some perspective with boxes first because i highly recommend doing that just using boxes to figure out how things sit how how to utilize the perspective grid. Um, but to learn, like, 
with the ponies, I would definitely have backups of anatomy, references. References are your friend. If you can find a pony in perspective to what's close to what you want, it doesn't have to be exact. Just something close. Give you the idea of how it would sit in a 3D space. Or, you know, their show style, you can use the 2D ones and see how they, like, twist and turn the pony to be in all directions. And just really play around with that. And just, it's going to take some time to fit both perspective and anatomy together. Because you can do, like... I, I mean, personally, I found anatomy to be very difficult at first, you know, I could do like a 2D side view or a front view, and then I started working on the three-fourths view, and then you start spinning that horse all the way around, and it starts getting real complex, and then you throw in perspective, and I, I guess that's really art, you just you keep making the stew and adding more and more stuff, and it just gets more complex, and just, just remember to take it in small bites, there's no need to gobble the entire stew, just, you know, savor it. Don't use a blender. And now I'm hungry. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's erase all these happy little lines. We're going to go back to the original source here. Oh, look at that. Get a big eraser. <laughs> it's a good thing we did it all in the same layer. <laughs> Alright. So you want to take Rarity? I mean, you yeah, are I'll a Rarity Fan 101. <laughs> what can I say? I love the main. It's great main. Good curl. Good curl. X, 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 Rarity Fan 420, X, X, X. Yep, totally. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so your pony heads are looking pretty okay. Be... Yeah, I'm enjoying these pony heads. Just a little correction towards the muzzles, which can be corrected by our happy little box method. Box it up. Very hard in this small of size. Oh There's my. like a zoom in button, and you can, can zoom way in. Because I need to light Allie's pictures going on, so I can't. Oh zoom. right, <laughs> that sucks. The pros of hosting. <laughs> So do as I say, don't as I do. Wait. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so sorry. This should have been all swooshy, but I can't swoosh in a centimeter size. Do you want to take rarity? It's a bit bigger. No, no it's fine. It's fine. I'm already sacrificing myself here. I got this. <laughs> okay. Silly zom zom. I'm devoted to the cuz. So currently, I'm kind of thinking about, because Rarity's position seems a little awkward, where the top half of her body is facing sideways, and her front legs are pointed towards the viewer. So it feels like an awkward position to stand, at least by dog or horse standards. Um, so I'm trying to think what could be a good compromise at this point in time. I Maybe. would have her, instead of having the legs tucked in, I would have them lay, laying back towards this direction. The reason is so you're sort of laying low and slink, slinking up to the wall. I can see that, yeah. All sly-like. Let's see. All right, so real quickly, what I've done here is I've done what's called the box method. It might be very small, so you're gonna have to stare really closely at your monitor, but what it is, is we take the head circle, whoop, we draw on our directions here, we basically just bisect it horizontally and vertically, and from there, we place a box on the face, depending on mare or stallion, is how big this box is going to be. Stallions usually have bigger noses. We're going to draw out the box in 3D to whatever length we feel is okay. All right. And with this box drawn, whoa, not that line. With this box drawn, now we know how the muzzle is pointing. So this is just profile slightly turned on this one. You can see the muzzle overlaps a bit of the face over here and sticks off the side. We're going to round out bits of it, just pull parts up, 
Here, I'll do this with a different color. Herda, herda, herda. Herda, herda. Oops. And with a little more refining after that, you get a nice pointed muzzle that will always follow the direction of the face. Because it's drawn on the face. Crazy, I know. <laughs> yes, you are crazy. Alright, so back to this adorable button mash. The body, or the head, looks fine. Your ears and eyes are placed well. Uh, just give a little more depth to the muzzle by doing the box. So we can get the overlap on the side of the face. Your body, however, is quite pudgy. He might want to lay off the video games a bit. You know, maybe go outside and run for a few days. So Just a few. Just, just a few will be fine. I mean, that almost looks like something that was part of the perspective issue because the front of Sweetie Belle is a lot skinnier than her backside, which is huge. Staring at Sweetie Belle's butt, aren't you? Well, I mean, it's right there. So hooves are also very big. Don't be scared of making Making them very stupidly, like holy cow with the heck coats. Big. Oh geez. There we go. Ah. Um, wow, that looks horrible, Living Dead. You, you fail at this. I mean, it's probably better than mine. You aren't allowed to do that. Bad. That's no, a bad I know. thing. I'm sorry. We're gonna use our construction. Because that's what we're supposed to do. It doesn't help that I can't see my own lines. There we go. So I'll just comment right now. Like I love the I love the swirls you got going for her mane and tail. I would just um keep it a little closer to her face. Uh, have it flow. It feels like it's kind of poking out from her rather than falling against her. Um, I know she has gravity defying curls, but it would still have some gravity pulled towards her, even though they kind of like push up. I, I probably made my curl a little bit long. I tend to make them a little bit long, even if you were to shorten it up and bring it up by her cheek level, which I believe is where it sits at the show. It still have some spring and fall to it that would feel natural. Natural to the pone. Yeah, I'm just going to say I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. I'm just doing what looks maybe okay-ish. So just made the hoops bigger. My best suggestion, go grab your references. Go eat up your references. They're going to be great. They're going to help you. They're going to make life wonderful. References of friends. You know what the best Not part of going for references? It's a reason to rewatch the show, as if you needed more reasons. <laughs> I mean, like, we're 21 days away from the new season? Something like that? Just about. Pony countdown. Damn, that cab, I think it's the website. 17 days, 16 hours, 54 minutes, and 46 seconds. Or to you <gasps> people watching, now! It's now! Whoa. What a phenomenon. Man, we're so close. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Of course I'm excited. It's pony, man. Always excited.
Um, one of the other things I'm doing over here is with the tail, I'm moving the tail closer to her body. Um, you kind of have it coming out her side, which feels a little unnatural since it's going to be directly behind her. Um, so you'd only see, you'd see more of the end of it because the larger part is right up against the wall squished there. So yeah, just be careful of side tail and have it maybe like lay on the ground instead of fall in front of her. I noticed something similar with Sweetie Belle too, where the tail went like up and out, even though she's sitting instead of just out flowing with the back. Mm hmm. Side tail is a dangerous thing. See your contact your doctor today. <laughs> That's... Uh, oh, I see why I didn't like that. Oh, I still made the body too big. I forgot my proportions. So I'll just finish up my talking points on Rarity. Um, I kind of moved, I changed the way her arms are, her front hooves. Um, instead of having the one leaning all the way against the wall, I had it kind of like her balancing in front of her, so she had her body more turned to the, a quarter turn than a whole half turn. Um, so her leg, it, her front hoof is lifted up against the wall, kind of like peer over while her, her, her left, no, her right hoof. Yes, yes, yes. no? Yes. Sorry, I'm having a dys dyslexic moment there for a second. <laughs> um, okay. She, she's like balancing herself holding onto the floor kind of like a person you know she's sitting there comfortably but sort of bending over but not like straining herself to the point where she'll fall out and get caught so if we just add a little i'll add the wall behind her give her some just a little wall just a little wall also rarity doesn't realize that she's hanging over the corner of the wall Mm-hmm. and you're you're gonna push the wall back a bit, right? So her butt's like scooched against it, not in it. Mm-hmm. So like I'd even pull it up there. Enough for her to exist next to the wall instead of like sandwich the wall. Hopefully that makes sense in the drawlovers. I know we've been kind of like quiet and picking up things as we go, but if you ever ever have any questions, just pop into the Discord. We'll try to help as we can. Yeah. We'll post on the Reddit. I'm sure other people will be willing to help as well. All right. I would like to make a quick reminder that we do have this eggy thing going for all of you that are in both chats. Oh my gosh, where'd my mouse go? Allie, find my mouse. I eat it. Look at this egg. It's awesome. I mean, kitty cats eat mice. It happens. <laughs> All right. Shall we move on to the next one? We have oh, another one. The CPC is picture. <gasps> It's not on the thing yet. I had to resize it. Because in true CPC style, it's 50 Classic billion CPC. thousand pixels. <laughs> she lives big and cute. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Dang. I really like the flow composition in there. Good use of forcing how the... Perspective. What's it called? Yes. No, not perspective. Like forcing how the viewer, like guide, that guides them through the work. You know how like their eyes follow the patterns and the 
the way the movement of the piece like the track like, like the tracks you want to naturally follow those up the tracks from twilight to the dragon tail oh composition but yeah it's like a certain aspect like the way you lead them Oh, wow, I didn't even notice the ears up front because they blended with the bushes really well. It's a pony. No, it's two ponies. No, it's a <gasps> of ponies. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. All right, so what are you, what's your questions going on here? say it's on purpose it's all on purpose or happy little accidents happy little accidents <laughs> and just see her running around her house with her arms up going yeah where's the nuts <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, I think I would change up how you're spreading detail. Like these, this is a nice like uh, add addition of detail on the front trees here, but the back ones, I think you can go for less detail Much because it's kind of like yeah. the farther back you go, it's kind of more of a blur that infers detail rather than the detail itself, and it becomes kind of it almost feels more messy. And like you lose the idea of the difference, like these trees are farther back and these trees are closer to you, but they have the same level of detail. I would almost consider bringing that up a little bit. Um, like we can see there's sort of a separation of the bush here as we move back. Mm -hmm. I would make this go less detailed too. Even bits in here just, it's almost a bit too much for the little amount of detail that's hanging around here. Now we can see you are rendering in each stone. So lots more details gonna pop in here, right? Mm hmm That being said, as Ali was pointing out, don't render in the stones over here. Just it's just not worth your time. Just vague kinda of like a vague rendering. Go for like broader you want the appeal, the appearance, not the exact detail everywhere. And especially since we have these bushes up front here, um, I know you're not done, but if you have such detail in the leaves up here, and then suddenly we have, you know, vaguer shapes up front, it's it, you got to find that balance of, you know, what kind of detail you want and where. Because you could do a thing where the front, the foreground, is a little bit blurred out because our middle ground is our focused. It's like you, you have to figure out if we're going to gradually detail and then blur back, or if we want the middle ground, the focus, so we kind of slightly blur, blur out the front and the back it's all about like focusing where the main action is and to me it's the middle ground with twilight coming up and seeing the dragon but but again i can't say much because you're still in very much progress of the detail part so i would I'll be curious i would also change twilight's pose the way her back leg's sticking up, it kind of looks like she's cocking her leg up to, like, pee. Um, just because it's the only leg that's actually pushed up. S my suggestion, because it looks like she's supposed to be rounding this corner and, like, hey, there's the dragon, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Make her look towards it, assuming she's actually seeing it. So turn her head towards it a little bit. Pop her leg up the closest leg to it. You can leave all the other three legs down if you want, but popping that leg up and maybe lifting the opposite leg so it's stepping, that would be about the extent of it. OK. 
Okay, okay. Right now, this leg doesn't translate into she's walking for me. That's that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I can understand where you're coming from with that. It looks like the leg's not sitting on the track. It looks like it's just raised up a little bit, and I think that's part of just following the curved perspective right there. I wonder if there's a most way we could get more motion into your piece. Um, like, I know we have the dragon tail curving here, and that kind of fits with Twilight. But um, are these ears going to be important? Like, are these important to the picture? Because we could tr probably move the tail around to reflect that. Like, we have Twilight, and we have your eye naturally wants to go up the stairs. And like, oh, I see the ears. And then maybe instead of your dragon tail being curved like this, have something to like curve over here so like you're like oh i see the ears and then oh i pick up the dragon tail and then some way we can find a way to loop back to twilight so we get that nice like the bushes use the bushes motion bring the bush the bush and then a branch. maybe have like yeah like some a light branch. shining nice and bright <laughs> on the some tree sparkle here. in the cave over here we can have a nice loop Hmm. Then I would say take out the ears and make them bushes. Because if these aren't important, it's like Chekhov's gun. People are going to wonder, what's that pony? If it has you know, nothing to do with the extra pony, just make them bushes. Because like, uh, a big thing in art also is like storytelling. And like if you have elements that really have nothing... Not, I wouldn't say nothing to do with the picture, but... In, unless you're meaning for them to be there, usually people pick it up and see it, and they'll be like, oh, what are these ears doing here? If they're just there for like to fill space, I would go with more bushes. Or flowers. You could have like flower bushes, so there's like another color besides green in front. Bacon bushes. Because <laughs> bacon sounds grows sounds. on trees, right? Because then my thought, if if these ears aren't totally important, we take the tail and actually have the tail overlap with the tracks. Okay, yeah. I mean, try to you know think of your full story because it's 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 nice to have a reason for everything in your piece. Sometimes the reason can just be I like that nice little tree there. But for something as stark as a pony in a foreground, like the pony ears in the foreground, that's so stark and different from, you know, the, the bricks, the bushes. It's not just now about Twilight and the dragon. It's about Twilight, the dragon, and the pony in the foreground. So you got to figure out a way to, like, highlight, highlight those three elements, in my opinion. I am, I am just one pony with an opinion. Are you sure? I hope so. I don't want to be multiple ponies. Hmm. Then you could like separate and then transform. Then do wonder burp, burp, burp. poems activate. Um, pa -pa. I know this is a work in progress, but I see some shading off to the right and off in the back for the caves and with the dragon cave and the dragon tail but this one cave right next to the dragon tail has like zero shading happening inside it i assume that's going to be done up mm -hmm. yeah but just with where the things are where the wall is hitting the ground next to the tail there's not a lot of definition and it blends together oh quick um not even quick cave entrances like on the side of <laughs> walls in that um because they're <laughs> this looks very man-made they they tend not to be like flat brick laid out that because that's not very structurally sound for the brick they tend to make an arch out of bricks because it both looks decorative and it holds a hell of a lot of weight to stop the front fascia from falling apart 
It's all like yo. Keystones. Yeah. And you know what? Q pencil case found out my secret. I'm actually three ponies. The other two are just in my main. Oh. Well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to find out this way, guys. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's a little we, awkward. We accept you for who you are. <laughs> for whom you are? For whom all of you are? <laughs> <laughs> just a massive main with thoughts and feelings. That's all it yeah, is. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually part of Alley Cloth. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right, you got any other questions, CPC? Yeah, I'm. I'm really loving the concept. Because if not, we're gonna call this an early stream. It's gonna be great. We're gonna watch ponies. It's gonna be awesome. Ooh, I like that idea. Ponies. But for art, comes first. So just yeah. anyone have art. More so questions. I'll just we'll throw that out. Anyone watching the stream, if you have art. You know, throw it at our faces. It'd be great. I have a stupid, silly question real fast. We answer stupid, silly questions. Yay! So besides Drawbox, is there any other super simple tutorials that you would recommend for somebody just starting? Hmm. I mean, for fundamentals, Drawbox is great. For pretty much... Everything else, there's, it's, I, I'm trying to think of something that encompasses all of art in like a nice walkthrough, but really it's, I mean, there's control paint. That's always a great place to start because that has like brief videos on just about majority of topics that are going to come up in art. Sikra, I think it's called. Yes, Sikra, I believe. The YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, the internet is nicely loaded with them. Find what works for you. If you don't like the videos you're watching on one or the the tutorials you're reading on another, you'll find another answer somewhere. It will be mm -hmm. there. Just Google what, it. Yeah, whether it be books or videos or what have you. Alrighty. Corner begging for hints on art. You know, whatever. Alright, so that looks like the end of the people throwing us art. Which is cool. That's 53 minutes. Wow, that was a quicken. I'm okay with quicken. Neat. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna close up today and remind everyone that there is an Anki going. And after this, we're gonna hop into Rabbit. And we're gonna force Stranger Source to draw pictures for us. I mean, I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Right now. <laughs> no. He knows he loves it. I did Dad absolutely died. nothing. It was a very quiet art day. Do not worry about doing too little or too not much. <laughs> well, no, it was because I was, I was in the kitchen wearing headphones because I was cooking the whole time. Nice. So our supper's ready? Yeah, there's plenty of tacos. <gasps> Taco. All right. So we'll we'll be switching over now. Thank you all for joining us, and see you next time, I guess. I can't. Yeah, see or you know, anything. join the Discord. It's cool. Bye. Bye. You know, everyone here is in the Discord except for Salami. I. It's true. Join the Discord, Salami. Come oh, on, Salami. Join, join us. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Peer pressure, peer pressure. Oh, ravioli arts too. I don't think they're in our chat, are they? I'm not sure. I've never seen them talk. No, and this undead rattler guy. Who's he? I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Bye. <laughs> Bye.